Hey, it's Patrick Todd. This is In The Know Beauty School. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do a graphic liner. Some things to make it easier is finding the right tools. I have a few brushes that I really love. This one is by the brand Bedellium Tools. It's a really small, fine synthetic brush. And then I also have the C2 brush from Cut Creaser. The eyeliner that I'm gonna be using today is by the brand Inglot. And what I wanna do is create a really nice fun shape. I've been really inspired by straight eyeliner recently. The easiest way to do straight eyeliner is you want to take a little bit of whatever eyeliner color that you choose today. I'm going to be using black. You can see where your eye line is and you can actually just connect from the bottom waterline going straight out. The reason why you want to have your eyes open when you are drawing this is because you want to see where your eyelid folds. If you ever have a eyeliner that is like too dry or dried out, this is Duraline. This is like a oil-based product that would just melt your eyeliner back into its form so you can easily glide it onto the eyelids. And now I'm just going to go right from the lash line, working my way towards the perimeter. I always like to use like, like a little powder puff just to like rest my hand on the skin. Whatever side of the tip is a little bit, is a little bit more pointy, that's the point that you want to flick. So that's going to be the thinnest point of the brush. So then you really want the tip of the liner to be as small as possible. Another really good trick is to just take the cap of your eyeliner. Since I'm using a gel liner, you can really kind of mold the liner onto the brush and make sure that it's super nice and sharp. It's honestly really hard to get your eyeliner to be the same, so you always want to make sure that whatever brush that you're using is nice and flat so then you can get a really nice, sharp, clean line. If you ever have too much product on your brush, what you want to do is take a little paper towel or tissue paper and just kind of pinch the brush back into place so it's nice and thin. For the top of the liner, I'm gonna take this C2 brush, which the hair on this brush is a bit longer, so you have more movement to create a shape. Since the eyes are open, I can connect from where the crease folds and work my way towards the end of the liner. If you guys ever make any mistakes, the easiest way to take it off is with any sort of oil cleanser. So this one is from Glossier, and I'm just taking a small Q-tip and whenever you apply the cleanser onto the Q-tip, you want to make sure that you, you don't put too much, but you can just take it off and erase certain areas that you feel that you've messed up. And then you can go in and trace the liner again with your brush. Some key takeaways when, are, when you're doing graphic liner, I like to use a gel liner that is in a pot just because I feel like it's not so drying. So you can really just glide the product onto the eye. And again, if you can have just really small, precise brushes just to really create that really nice fine tip. Some of the easiest ways to create the perfect shape is to just follow your bottom waterline, working your way towards the end of your brow. So this has been In The Know Beauty School. I'll see you guys on the next episode.